is homeless right before Thanksgiving. Authorities say a leasing agent promised families apartments that were not available and then stole their deposits. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales is live in Clearwater with the growing list of victims she's uncovering tonight. Isabel. Hey guys, we've just learned that Tanya Johnson also managed a second property called Garden Trails. And as of this morning, police say the number of victims have more than doubled. And sadly, those may not be the only ones. It's tiny, but this shelter is the only thing keeping Sabrina Long, her fiance, and her four month old daughter from being homeless. Not a lot of room, but you know, it's better than sleeping on a cot or sleeping in my truck. Pinellas Park Police say it's all because of this woman, Tanya Johnson. She actually acted like she was becoming one of my best friends. She even has pictures of my daughter. Sabrina says she met Johnson while looking for an apartment at Parkside Comets. Oh, you're in luck. We have openings right now. Sabrina gave Johnson money for her application fees and a security deposit and signed a lease. But move-in day came and went, and Sabrina says Johnson had nothing but excuses. $1,995. That's how much Sabrina's out today. And I was like, I kept telling him, no, something's not right. No, Sabrina, just relax. Investigators say Johnson stole money from 12 people while offering apartments at two complexes that were not available. And they may not be the only ones. Police say Johnson told the future tenants to pay the fees and deposits with blank money orders. Johnson also has a warrant out for her arrest from Kentucky for a violation of parole in a previous fraud case. Six, seven years ago, I was in a position where I was in a shelter, and I worked so hard to get out of that. And now I have a child involved, and I'm back in the shelter. Now, I did reach out to Johnson's employer, Cambridge Management, Inc., and they insist that her background check did not show those charges stemming from Kentucky. Uh, they're also telling me that they are working with those victims trying to find them housing. Live in Clearwater, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.